Update tonight on the filthy and dangerous living conditions in DC public housing that we uncovered back in May. This scathing 72 page report by the US Department of Housing and Urban Development confirms what we showed you months ago. Our investigation into DC housing led to immediate action by some DC agencies as we continue to hold the housing director accountable. Now, Brenda Donald has to also answer to HUD, which calls DC Housing Authority among the worst in the country. So what makes you qualified to turn this agency and to turn these homes and these lives around? Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's a fair question. Less than two weeks ago, I asked the executive director of DC's Housing Authority some tough questions. Now, a damning audit by HUD revealed an agency failing at its core mission to house some of the city's most vulnerable in safe and clean homes. Brenda Donald was brought in to fix the agency last year after its former director was ousted following allegations that millions of dollars were misused. I've discovered a lot of things that from a, a management standpoint that certainly need to be improved. But it appears new leadership alone will not repair the 82 areas of deficiencies found at DC Housing. According to the audit, DC Housing received over $76 million in federal funds to maintain over 8,000 units, but only 76% of their housing stock is occupied. That's the lowest public housing rate in the country. And while Donald showed us the agency's plan to renovate vacant units, Here's what HUD inspectors found. Some of those empty units covered in mold and moss on the floors and walls. I'm convinced that they want us to look like this. And some units where families live are still in filthy conditions, overrun by bugs, mice, and rats. I'm done. Ready, Jen, I'm done. I'm done. In fact, when we visited Lincoln Heights this summer, a resident raised her complaints to housing leaders. The audit found the agency is not maintaining tenant files. Its housing voucher waiting list has been closed since 2013. Its public housing waiting list hasn't been touched in 10 years. It's failing to protect victims of domestic violence, and it's not screening for registered sex offenders. This has been going on since July. There's a pedophile running around here. We got here because we're not doing the proper oversight. Uh, we have lost our mission, the mission. Council member at large, Alyssa Silverman, who's running for re-election, sits on the D.C. Housing Committee. And now what HUD is saying is, no, you're going to have to pay us this money back mm -hmm. because you broke the rules. And that is just unacceptable. Silverman plans to introduce legislation, she tells us, calling on changes and more oversight at DCHA. Executive Director Donald tells us she's reviewed the audit, is preparing the agency's answer. That is due November 30th. HUD is giving the city three months to fix these problems.